Hey guys, Dr. David Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about the much awaited review on The Ordinary. Um, yes, I've been using this for the last couple of months and I'll tell you what I think of it. Um, look, if you, here's the summary. Um, you must be an idiot if you don't try it because um, it is unbelievable for what it's worth. Um, look, that, that's the summary, okay? It's uh, bang for buck. Um, you're not gonna get anything better than this um, for less than the cost of these skincare products. So I've been using this over winter, uh, and that's basically a vitamin C suspension, 30% in silicon. And you may ask, why do I use vitamin C? Do I really believe in vitamin C? What does vitamin C do for your skin? Well, let's go back to a few things. First of all, I like to use this because it is really occlusive. In other words, uh, for me with, I guess, uh, dry skin, um, especially living in um, Australia with lower humidity over the winter months, this suited me really well. However, with the change of season, and now we're coming into spring with a higher humidity, I'm changing to this. Now, both of these in Australia, I think they're about nine or ten dollars, and I think you can get these overseas for about eight dollars. So seriously, even if you don't like it, if it doesn't suit your skin, it's only $8. So that's why I say, with The Ordinary, you cannot go wrong. Because skincare is as individualized as you are. So if there was one good product for the best moisturizer out there, there'll be only one good product. But there are many, because some people like the feel of a more occlusive moisturizer, for example, with dry skin, or some people like a lighter moisturizer for someone who's got greasy or oily skin. So I can't advise on what to use for your skin. You've got to go out there and try it yourself. Now let's get back. So I was actually being sidetracked in regards to vitamin C. So vitamin C in skin, how important is it? Well. Vitamin C does two things really in the skin. Number one, it is actually vital for the collagen and elastin, right? So these are the scaffolding of your skin. So remember back in the old days, uh, the stories of scurvy, yeah? And people used to get bruising. That's because the blood vessels are not supported by collagen. And as a result, you used to get um, bruising of the skin. So that's the first, one of the first signs of scurvy. But in order to actually have scurvy now, have I seen the case? Yes, that was probably about 20 years ago in my training. But since then, no, it doesn't usually occur unless someone's really malnourished because just having eating a stable diet with um, you know, greens, uh, vegetables, a uh, glass of orange juice a week, um, you've got your vitamin C intake. Uh, do you take, if you take more supplements, as in vitamin C supplementation, um, I, I think it's just going to be excreted and it's just, it's just a waste, okay? So if you live, if you have a well-balanced diet, it's absolutely fine. So let's get back to this. Um, it is actually a vitamin C suspension 30%. And believe it or not, um, it is, in the, in the ingredients in the back, pure L-ascorbic acid, which gives you the highest bioavailability of vitamin C for your skin. So I don't know how they do it for this price because um, uh, serums and all, it's usually about between seven to 10 times more than the purchase price of this, which like I said, is somewhere between eight to anywhere up to 14, $15, which is really nothing in the scheme of skincare. So what do these do for your skin? What does vitamin C do for your skin? Uh, it acts as a free radical scavenger. So free radicals occur because of UV damage or pollution. And what happens is that um, the free radicals can damage DNA, which in turn can lead to cellular damage and in the worst case scenario, predispose you to skin cancer. So I'm not saying take this and you'll be skin cancer free. It's just a theory. And there are not many robust studies which actually show that vitamin C is, you know, um, reverses skin aging um, and it's it certainly there are no studies there saying vitamin C reduces uh, the rate of malignancy so this is all in theory here's my argument why do you want to scavenge free radicals when you can prevent free radicals in the first place so it, it's you know uh, People say, oh, should I use the vitamin C in the morning? And the answer is yes, because most of the free radical damage you'll get will be 
during the day because of the UV exposure and the pollutants. The flip side is, if you're going to use something, why do you want to actually uh, reduce uh, free radicals? Uh, what you want to do is prevent free radicals. And the best way to prevent that is sun protection. So wearing sunscreen uh, and a hat prevents free radicals in the first place. So that's my argument is that, look, out of all the vitamins, I probably would rate this as, um, you know, non-essential. I'll, I'll go vitamin A by far. The studies are there, it's robust, and um, vitamin A first, then B, because vitamin B has also been shown to be effective, niacinamide, but as an anti-inflammatory, but also decreases the rate of um, uh, neoplasia or, or dysplasia. In other words, uh, cells which may predispose to skin cancer. And vitamin C is right at the bottom. So it goes like this, um, vitamin A first, vitamin B second, and vitamin C, if you're really bored and got nothing to do, sure. Um, and look, I didn't buy this because of the vitamin C. I bought it because I really like the texture of it. Uh, the vitamin C was just an added bonus. Uh, and it's in silicon. So people have asked me, I've just got, I've got a couple of comments on YouTube in regards to what are my uh, thoughts on silicon. Um, it's fine because it's sitting on your skin. It's not actually sitting under your skin. We're not using silicon droplets, nor are we injecting that. Okay, so it's absolutely fine. And the only reason why I bought it, like I said, is because it actually suits me really well. Now, um, like I said, change of season. Now I'm using um, this, which is uh, natural moisturizing factors in HA. So HA is hyaluronic acid, guys. Uh, and once again, do I actually buy it because of the HAs? The answer is no. I buy it because um, it feels nice. It feels nice, it's light, um, it's non-greasy, uh, and my skin doesn't get irritated with it. So that's my um, moisturizer of choice, okay? So you can't go wrong with the ordinary because even though they have uh, a lot of pseudoscience because hyaluronic acid remember belongs under your skin not sitting on your skin yes it can make a, it can make for a really good moisturizer but HAs if they go under your skin can really plump up your skin reduce wrinkles um, and certainly help you from there but um, like I said it's a lot of pseudoscience with the ordinary um, and I'll give you another example for example they make something like this, which is an emulsion of a retinoid, 2%. And uh, like I said, it's cheap as chips. You're paying probably eight to $10 for this. Uh, and why is this super cheap compared to things like Environ or um, Medicaid or any of those high-end creams or even La Mer? Um, the thing is, I guess the ordinary realizes that skincare um, doesn't really change your skin. So you don't actually put this and next thing you know um, you have less wrinkles or less pigmentation it doesn't happen that way not with this kind of formulation so this the science is that it's pseudoscience they're using a retinoid remember uh, a retinoid needs to have a conversion so that it actually gets absorbed by your skin uh, for the rar receptors in other words a retinoid receptors to work so the bioavailability, in other words, how much that actually gets into your skin is unknown compared to, let's say, using a, a retinoid, which is prescribed like tretinoin. Um, so the science is there for this. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, um, but I'm gonna try it later on. And I bought myself a niacinamide as well, which is basically vitamin B and zinc. So zinc is great for your immune system. So if you're having acne, for example, um, and vitamin um, uh, B3 is also good as an anti-inflammatory. So for example, patients who suffer from rosacea or acne, any of the in inflammatory skin conditions may benefit from this. So I'm doing a segment right now on Instagram. So if you're not on Instagram, on my Instagram, so it's Dr. Davin Lim, that's the Dr. Davin Lim down here. Uh, I'm doing a segment called Skin Lab, which means uh, every week I test a product. So I can't be using this on my face all the time, uh, every night, because that will cause skin irritation. And the way I test things is a, um, I guess it's an objective as well as a subjective point of view. Objective means I read the ingredients, I tell you the science behind it, but subjectively is how I feel with my skin type using these products. So. Uh, in summary, it's this, uh, if you haven't tried The Ordinary, um, just 
buy yourself a couple, uh, you can't go wrong. Skincare, remember, like I said, it does not reverse anything. It basically prevents, okay? So you don't spend your money on expensive, uh, you know, vitamin A, B, Cs, cleansers, toners, um, serums, night gels, eye gels, um, eye cream. It's not gonna make a difference, guys. Um, what's gonna make the biggest difference, remember, um, you know, I gave, I was interviewed just a few weeks ago in Beverly Hills and they asked me, um, yeah, Dr. Lim, what's your skincare tips? Three tips. And I go, yeah, sure. Sunscreen in the morning, sunscreen in the afternoon, and a retinoid at night. Um, and that's it. One, two, three. Um, nothing else. No, you know, whatever growth factors or what have you. Keep it simple. And the most important thing is to actually prevent uh, collagen damage in the first place. So using the sunscreen of your choice, and then know that for the 10th time, I'm not sponsored by La roche Posay. I actually like Enthelios because I do like the um, sunscreen itself, which means I'm gonna use it, and it offers high UVA protection. So once again, it's up to you. Just as long as you get your sunscreen on you twice a day, that's fine. Uh, and like I said, try to get something with long wave UVA protection. So something with uh, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or uh, Merxil XL, which is basically produced by um, La roche posay Even old fashioned ingredients like avobenzone, for example, which have been with us for well over 30 years, provide uh, better UVA protection than most sunscreens. And those sunscreens are cheap as chips. So to summarize, if you haven't tried this product, um, Go out there, just buy a couple of these. It's not gonna break the bank, and in the worst case scenario, if you don't like it, if it's not suited to your skin type, give it to your brother, sister, mother, father, or friend. Okay, guys? So um, that's my summary on The Ordinary. Okay, it um, it's really is a bang for buck. Um, you, you just I just don't know how to describe it, man. You just cannot get better than that. We get a lot of free products. Uh, we get trials of everything basically um, a pharmacist gives us trials of just about every single cream out there whether it be a retinoid um, uh, alpha hydroxy acids beta hydroxy acids name it we get it uh, and i can tell you this uh, for a fact that the ordinary for how much it costs um, man you're a fool if you if you don't try it so guys i hope you like that video um, it's just a short summary on skincare my thoughts on vitamin c once again some people may have different opinions chime your thoughts below because it's an interactive channel guys thanks for watching please subscribe if you're not subscribed already um, as i said this channel is growing and it's doing really well and thanks for all your support this so i'll see you next time next week bye for now